driver has asked, uh, can you do a quick lesson for corner balancing, please? And also, uh, is it better if the driver is sitting in the car before doing alignments? Okay, uh, so corner weighting, corner balancing uh, is another topic altogether. As I kind of touched on, uh, Matt, uh, our other racecraft employee, is currently writing a corner weighting course. We're hoping to add that in uh, the next couple of months. So corner weighting is an aspect of adjusting the amount of weight being placed on each corner of the car. We can do this in a couple of ways. We can physically move components around the car. Generally there's a limit to how much we can achieve by doing this. So the other aspect once we've exhausted that possibility is by making ride height adjustments at different corners of the car. This will jack weight around the car affecting the corner weighting. And we measure the corner weights using corner weight scales. And these are a little bit expensive so not everyone's going to have access to those. But of course they also like everything have come down in cost massively uh, since I've been involved in the motorsport world. Now the idea here typically for a circuit application is that we're not trying to necessarily get a perfect 25% weight balance on every corner of the car. For most road going cars converted to race cars that's simply not achievable, it's not practical. Instead what we're trying to do is measure the total mass of the car, total weight of the car I should say, and then what we want to do is measure what's called the cross weight. So for example the cross weight will be the, the sum of the weight on the front right corner of the car and the left rear corner of the car and we represent that cross weight as a percentage of the total and in general uh, for the best best handling balance we are typically going to be uh, trying to get that cross weight to be 50% of the total weight and the idea here is that all things being equal if we can achieve this we should have a car that handles the same in left hand corners and right hand corners not always exactly the way but that's uh, that's the theory behind it. Uh, you've also asked is it better if, if the driver is sitting in the car before doing alignments. Ideally yes, the reason for this is by adding the driver to the car we're going to end up compressing the suspension on one side of the car a little bit and this can affect our camber and it can also affect our toe settings. It shouldn't make too much difference, I know that most people don't do this but in the perfect world that is what we'd want to do. Uh, particularly this is important for corner weighting so the idea here rather than having uh, the driver needlessly sit in the car for an hour or so while we're going through our alignment and corner weighting process. Uh, we're going to have some weights that we can place in the seat to replicate the driver's weight. That question was taken from one of our free live lessons. If you like free stuff and you want to expand your knowledge, click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about optimising the performance and handling of your car on the racetrack as well as improving your skills behind the wheel, plus you'll have the chance to ask your own questions which we'll be answering live.